to do this. Operation. They were going to cut out Allison's clitoris the next day. I couldn't believe it. We started screaming at each other. They told me it wasn't any of my business. That this was how things were done in their culture. The worst part was my wife just sat there. She was just gonna let them do it. Uncle Joseph left, even though nothing had been resolved. I went out after him. I knew where he parked. He wouldn't listen to me. He said it was his duty to see that Allison became a proper woman. When I heard that, I just lost it. I grabbed him and threw him down against the wall, hard. I had to stop him. It was either that or let him destroy an important part of Allison's life. My wife had this thing done to her when she was a little girl, so I know about the effect. She's always been too embarrassed to talk about it, even to me. But I can tell. She worries that I'm not satisfied with our sex life. And there is a sadness in her that never really goes away. Mr. Martin, when you confronted Mr. Mossad, did he have your daughter with him? No. She was at home, wasn't she? In no immediate danger? Yes. When you heard what Mr. Mossad and your wife's mother had in mind for Allison, why didn't you go to the police? I didn't know it was against the law. I didn't know what my rights were. Then why didn't you just take her to a safe place? Where? You don't know how determined they were. So, when you followed Mr. Mossad, you intended to stop him from harming Allison forever? I don't know what was in my mind. I had to make him understand they were not going to mutilate my daughter. Bill, first-degree manslaughter. Makes sense to talk about a plea? Can't do it, Jack. My client's got to go 